if they're if they have diabetes, this is a problem, right? And you go, yeah, but what's more a problem? I place the implant and half the implant is out the buckle. That's a bigger problem, guys. Like if the if the threads aren't in the bone, that's a bigger problem. If the implant is hitting a nerve or a Schneiderian membrane or a vital structure of any sort, another tooth, that's a problem immediately, right? And that's a problem that will hang on as long as that implant is in the mouth, as long as it's in the mouth. That can develop into all sorts of, of biological complications like periimplantitis or perimucositis, but it can also improperly placed implants lead to a, a, a wide number of mechanical complications over time, neither of which we want. We don't want biological complications. We don't want mechanical complications. We don't need either of those things. And it comes down to that implant location. So the, the, the magnitude of the benefit of getting the implant on the right location is so much bigger than if this person is diabetic, right? It's, it's huge. 